Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude. Welcome back to Draft League. We're back. You guys enjoy the videos. In one or three support, always. Now, I know that always the first video in any series is most amount of views. I want to be as transparent, open as possible about everything that I have to offer. If you want to support the channel, be sure to check out the merchandise I have below. You'll find merchandise unlike anything else at the link in the below. It's got great t shirts I got. Really, really, it's kind of great stuff. And also, if you want to support the channel, I'm trying to get 4,000 view hours in the calendar year to get monetization. So please enjoy the video, please watch the video. I know that week one, you decide, hey, am I gonna subscribe to this guy and watch more often, or am I gonna hate him because of the video and call him names on Twitter? Please don't do that, my wife reads my Twitter. But let's actually get right to it. Let's get to the battle against Automatic. He's got Drakion, Mega Gardevoir, Hydreigon, Jolteon, Gastrodon, and Celesteela. He's got a lot of on mons, huh? Drakion, Hydreigon, Jolteon, Gastrodon. I got more of my own, we'll set the lawn. Here we go, Victory Belt, Torkoal. Weevil, we have Ferrothorn, and we have Gliscor. Looking at his team, uh, you can see he's got one Defogger. That is going to be his Hydreigon. So if it's not Scarf, we can probably get some Hazards up. Uh, but if you look at my team, I'm not a big fan of uh, Hazards. Now, obviously, I have a Rapid Spin potential in Torkoal and a Defog potential in Gliscor. But I also have Lecephalon, and I do have Torkoal, and I think the Weevil that don't want to take uh, Hazard damage at all. And I have also things like Victory Bell that I don't want to take Hazard damage at all. So I, I really got to be sure to uh, kind of nullify that as possible, as much as possible. And if I if had to do get up, I got to get rid of those. But seeing his team, I figured, no, he's probably with Terrakion. I'm going to leave with Cephalon. I'm going to take a risk here. Uh, something I do every now and again. Taking some risks. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do the first time where I actually go ahead and I pause the video. I, I've done this in the past and a lot of people have noticed. See, every time you pause the video and you over explain your move, it never happens that way. So I'm going to try and, you know, level it out a little more, make it a little more uniform about what I'm doing. So here, leave the Terrakion, I leave with the Cephalon, and I figure, you know, he's, he's really going to, he's really, really going to prioritize getting those rocks up, so I'm going to go ahead and leave with the Cephalon, take a huge risk, turn one of the first game of the season. you got to go for broke once in a while. Also, I, I count that a max HP, max defense, bold, or impish, uh, Gliscor uh, gets O-Code by a Rocky MZ Terrakion. So I figure he also knows that, so I got to deal as much damage that Terrakion as possible. I take the risk, turn one, where Scarf Baby hit him with a Shadow Ball. And uh, he's going to do a little bit of damage there, which is, you know, that's kind of par for the course. And he doesn't get, hit, get his rocks up. So now he's got to know that I'm Scarf, right? Unless he's some kind of defensive set. But I just kind of go right, uh, keep firing off Shadow Balls. He goes into Hydreigon. Now I also know Hydreigon does not get soup. Trust me, I did the research. Uh, so based on his set, he's defensive. He's probably got. Uh, Probably got a uh, U-turn, probably Defog, maybe a uh, Dark type move. He has a Dark Pulse, which uh, I guess he kind of had to go for. I mean, I guess he didn't have to go for that, knowing that I was Scarf, unless Drakion wasn't max speed, but I'm, I'm assuming that it was. So I got Ferrothorn in there. Uh, he's going to go for a Taunt, and Ferrothorn is heavy Taunt bait, which is something that you'll learn if you draft Ferrothorn in Draft League. He goes for Taunt, so now I know he's got Dark Pulse, he's got Taunt. I'm kind of exploring the moveset. I'm kind of learning a little bit about what he's got for moves. He just keeps going Dark Pulse, and I just go for a Force. It doesn't matter, I get flinched. So it doesn't matter what I go for, it doesn't matter if I want for power whip. It matters not. I'm gonna switch out now. I want Ferris going around, I wanna get those rocks up. I go in a weevil, which uh, I know can take a dark pulse. And I can immediately threaten him out with an ice cold crash. He is gonna switch out, which means he is threatened by ice cold crash. And he goes into Celesteela, something that uh, I have to fake out. Now here, uh, the, I have no item on, on Weevil, and you're going, why do you have no item on Weevil? I, you know, there's a couple things you learned about me this game. This is the learning game. Now, go to Torkoal, and now right away, right, right away. What do you? Hold on, wait a minute. We'll get, we'll get to it. What do you notice? Right away. Right away. Right away. What do you notice? That I don't notice. No drought. Right. There was no drought. I didn't notice that there was no drought. When I got my Pokemon Gen, we'll keep it going. Uh, I put it in the showdown, and I just put Torkoal in there, and I'm like, oh, drought has to be the default. So when I got a Gen, I don't even check. Over to me. Not only did I not check that I had no drought. I also didn't realize I had no drought. I go for Solar Beam, I absorb light, and then I, I'm literally sitting in my living room going, um, what? Check my Mons, check what I sent to the guy who gen my team. That's on me, right? I definitely should have checked that, but I got a bone to pick with you, Pokemon Showdown. See, the default move, the default ability on Pokemon, Pokemon Showdown is really called White Smoke. What does that do, you ask? I had no fucking idea what that did. You wanna know why? Because nobody's used White Smoke since it came out in 2003. Nobody used Torkoal before it got drought. I understand what you're going to say. You still have the ability. You should have selected. 
Trout's the only ability he uses. Showdown should have a little more wherewithal to go, you know, we should make the default ability on some of these mods the only ability that's ever used. No one's using White Smoke Torkoal. No one's ever used White Smoke Torkoal. And no one will use White Smoke Torkoal at Pokemon Showdown. My problem here is with you. Why do you have White Smoke as a default when no one's going to use it? I get it. You know, I get it. It's one of those things where, okay, well, all the Pokemon, the, 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 the abilities are in there, and the, the year that they got them, that, that's not good enough for me, Showdown. That's not good enough for me. I think you owe me specifically an apology for this blunder. You do. I'm, I'll be waiting on Twitter. Not only did you make me miss Jen, you also distracted me enough during the game where I couldn't tell I didn't have drought. And in my defense, this is my first ever Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. I just, part of me would... I, I want to think part of me noticed that there was no sun in the game, but I'm like, oh, maybe it's just part of Ultra Sun and Moon's new initiative to kind of increase frame rate, but I have not in unnecessary graphics in the on the game. Remember when Moltres came out in X and Y, it was slapping its wings and in 3D, it just made the game lag. I thought, you know what, maybe that was that. Was that. But, you know, that didn't happen. So now I got to use the Torkoal and I have use of Victor Bell. We got to try to come back from that. We're lagging, I get that. We're trying a new way of recording. Hopefully next week we have the issues fixed. I don't think we will because uh, I'm right now, I'm, I loaded the video in the Premiere, put a, put a layout up, and then I'm now using Camtasia to record the screen. I tried using OBS to record the screen, but it lagged so bad. Torkoal's dead, guys. Torkoal's dead. During that time, Torkoal died, and guess who cares? Nobody! Except me. So going to Gliscor now, it's not over yet, but it's certainly going to be a big challenge. He is going to taunt me, and you know, I should have seen that coming. I can record that, right? But desperate time, call for desperate measures. I got an ice, an apple cider from Dunkin' Donuts to quench my thirst. That does nothing, right? So that is a defensive as fuck, Hydreigon. It's something that we're gonna have to break if we even want to come close to winning this. So he's gonna on any flinch. So why not? You know, we got two flinches. We got the entire drought blunder, right? The, the entire drought blunder, and it's not looking that good for us right now. But if you know anything about me, then I never give up. Unless you know, I give up completely and cry in the fetal position at my own self-doubt and my own insecurity, which that's not going to happen on YouTube anymore. Why? Again, my wife watches my YouTube, and I want to give off the idea that I'm a strong, independent Pokemon battler, and you know, I don't I don't cry when I lose anymore, right? That's a kid thing. That's, a, that's what kids do. Only kids do that. I don't do that anymore. I'm not a guy who cries at a Pokemon battle anymore. Oh no, definitely not me. Not going to be the one crying at a Pokemon battle. But anyone, if, if anyone, it's you with looking at me like that. I don't, I don't need that. If anyone crying in the Pokemon game, it's you. So stuff happened while I was yelling about what I definitely don't do. I'm going to keep going for Gyro Balls. Uh, and that does a lot of damage. If I had gone for that the first time, instead of, you know, being taunted, this might be a completely different game. But I still have that Scarf with Tough on the back. And based on the structure of his team, if I can get stuff down enough, right? So Hydrogon is gone, so it's not a 6 0, which is, you know, an improvement from what I thought it was going to be after seeing a Torkoal. Now, it's not a 6 0. Uh, so my taunt's gone. He goes in a Mars 10, which is definitely. His uh, track, and I'm gonna say Ferrothorn. I'm gonna go into Victor Bell, which is now the epitome of useless. But also go for close combat. I'm not gonna take that much from it, right? There's a chance I can only be two KO'd, and there is a chance that I can kill this thing. So that does a lot of damage. That was the upper end of the damage count for Victor Bell. He gets another medium roll, right? He needed a high low for me to live. I didn't live. That's fine. That's math. That's the way it works. Numbers. We're gonna have to own that. So we go. I go to Bethlehem, and I'm looking at his team, and I go, you know, if I could just maybe kill one or two of these things. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be alright, but he goes into Chris, and I Shadow Ball, and this leads me to believe he is some sort of Assault Vest, uh, Assault Vesting, uh, Mirror, or Assault Vesting variant, or maybe he's got, you know, maybe he's super tough defensive Mirror Coat, he goes for Earth Power, I didn't want to take a chance that they get Mirror Coated, so Ferrothorn goes down, but it's nice to run a map of on, but I'm going to Gliscor, and I am, uh, toxic, which means I get my health points back, and he's going to go ahead and switch out, and that means I'm going to be able to get up an Earth with no. I'm not gonna hurt right? um, I do get poison heal, so I was just kind of trying to get as much damage as possible on those things. I think he knew I was trying to get as much damage as possible because I think at that point he figured that I had a scarf with stuff on. If I can get things low enough and that Jolteon's not scarf, I can definitely make a comeback with scarf with stuff on. Uh, but I gotta try to get damage on these things, poison heal. That's just more like that's just more than I thought it would, right? So I thought he was gonna go for a root there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, or uh, not a root. I thought he was gonna switch predicting my um, protect. I thought he might switch out and try to get uh, some initiative on me and maybe this thing, but I go protect here, so he is inside my skull, went free! 
in this economy too you gotta if you find a place like that it's got like two bathrooms up there uh, it's got two and a half bedrooms so you can even have your buddy over you know, for a nice long weekend and then you can watch the lord of the rings trilogy and then he goes home and you don't really have, to have that much to clean you can figure he's got hidden power now uh Gliscor attracts a lot of hidden powers i thought he might have hidden powers for acting on floor Gliscor. i figured that was a possibility uh just like you uh, you know or he might have possibly had you know, uh, actually, Gliscor and Ferrothorn both attract hidden power, so I thought maybe if it was hidden power ice on, Glis on uh, Terrakion, it might have been hidden power fire on something like a, uh, a Gastrodon. You know, just just stuff like that. But uh, I do crit him, which is great, because that crit is A1, right? That is what I needed. But Weevil goes down. Uh, he's going to beast boost his defenses. <laughs> right now, it's not exactly the uh, place we want to be, but we do go into Blacephalon, and we are, this is pretty much our last gas, right? Uh, I go for a Fire Blast, I do hit, and I get the Beast Boost off. So now, you know, I, I'm a plus one Blacephalon, I got plus one speed. This is not out of the realm of possibility just yet. He goes into Chris, which is his gas run. And if I can get some luck here, uh, if I can get some luck and I can deal some damage to this to this Gastrodon, it's not over, right? He doubles out and he goes into Larissa, which is his, his uh, it, so could you imagine if I just played in click Fire Blast? This would have been, this would have been a juicy little turn here, but... Uh, he is gonna go for the Gardevoir right now. Obviously, I, I could I had sub on the set. I could have gone for a sub, but he's got Hyper Void, so it doesn't make a difference. I actually had Throat Chop on Weevil just to get in uh, uh, in case you went for Hyper Void on this thing here. But you know, I'm gonna end up just going for a uh, I'm gonna keep going for a Fire Blast here. Keep going for those Fire moves. He's gonna go into Crit or I have a Shadow Ball. I'm going on the Fire Blast. He goes into Chris. Uh, unfortunately, I am gonna not kill it. He is gonna go ahead and uh, he's gonna take. It's gonna be the game. Uh, the recording cut off at the end there, but uh, he actually does win 4 0. So, re new recording method already not looking too good because it had a cut off right at the end. But, you know, I'll throw some graphic up there. But that has been uh, week one of UBL. Literally could not have gone worse. It could have gone worse if the guy 6 0, but I had so many mental errors, so many jetting errors. Next week kind of has to be better, right? It does. Um, I thought I still played well given what happened. I thought I may I had some rationale on my plays, but that you know that being said, that's pretty much what we got this week. Please uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night.